أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم توسين These are verses of the Quran, a book that makes things clear. A guide and glad tidings for the believers. Those who establish regular prayers and give in regular charity and also have full assurance of the hereafter. As to those who believe not in the hereafter, we have made their deeds pleasing in their eyes, and so they wander about in distraction. Such are they for whom a grievous penalty is waiting, and in the hereafter theirs will be the greatest loss. As to you, the Qur'an is bestowed upon you from the presence of one who is wise and all-knowing. Behold, Moses said to his family, I perceive a fire. Soon will I bring you from there some information, or I will bring you a burning brand to light our fuel that you may warm yourselves. But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard, Blessed are those in the fire and those around, and glory to Allah, the Lord of the world. O Moses, verily I am Allah, the exalted in might, the wise. Now do you throw your rod. But when he saw it moving of its own accord, as if it had been a snake, he turned back in retreat, and retraced not his steps. O Moses, it was said, fear not truly in my presence, those called as messengers have no fear. But if any have done wrong, and have thereafter substituted good to take the place of evil, truly I am oft forgiving, most merciful. Now put your hand into your bosom, and it will come forth white without stain, or harm. These are among the nine signs you will take to the Pharaoh and his people, for they are a people rebellious in transgression. But when our signs came to them, that should have opened their eyes. They said, This is sorcery manifest. And they rejected those signs in iniquity and arrogance, though their souls were convinced thereof. So see what was the end of those who acted corruptly. We gave in the past knowledge to David and Solomon, and they both said, Praise be to Allah who has favored us above many of his servants who believe. And Solomon was David's heir. He said, O you people, we have been taught the speech of birds, and on us has been bestowed a little of all things. This is indeed grace manifest from Allah. And before Solomon were marshaled his hosts of jinns and men and birds, and they were all kept in order and ranks. At length, when they came to a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O oh, you ants, get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his hosts crush you underfoot without knowing it. So he smiled, amused at its speech, and he said, O oh, my Lord, so order me that I may be grateful for your favors, which you have bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I may work the righteousness that will please you, and admit me by your grace to the ranks of your righteous servants. And he took a muster of the birds, and he said, Why is it I see not the hoopoe, or is he among the absentees? I will certainly punish him with a severe penalty, or execute him, unless he bring me a clear reason for absence. But the hoopoe tarried not far, he came up and said, I have compassed territory which you have not compassed, and I have come to you from Saba with tidings true. I found there a woman ruling over them and provided with every requisite, and she has a magnificent throne. I found her and her people worshipping the sun besides Allah. Satan has made their deeds seem pleasing to their eyes and has kept them away from the path, so they receive no guidance kept them away from the path that they should not worship Allah, who brings to light what is hidden in the heavens and the earth, and knows what you hide and what you reveal? Allah, there is no God but He, Lord of the throne, supreme. Solomon said, Soon shall we see whether you have told the truth or lied. Go you with this letter of mine, and deliver it to them. Then draw back from them and wait to see what answer they return. The queen said, You chiefs, here is delivered to me a letter worthy of respect. It is from Solomon, and is as follows. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, 
Be you not arrogant against me, but come to me in submission to the true religion. She said, You chiefs advise me in this my affair. No affair have I decided except in your presence. They said, We are endued with strength and given to vehement war, but the command is with you, so consider what you will command. She said, Kings, when they enter a country, despoil it, and make the noblest of its people its meanest. Thus do they behave. But I am going to send him a present, and wait to see with what answer return my ambassadors. Now, when the embassy came to Solomon, he said, Will you give me abundance in wealth? But that which Allah has given me is better than that which he has given you. Nay, it is you who rejoice in your gift. Go back to them, and be sure we shall come to them with such hosts as they will never be able to meet. We shall expel them from there in disgrace, and they will feel humbled indeed. He said to his own men, You chiefs, which of you can bring me her throne, before they come to me in submission? Said then Ifrit of the jinns, I will bring it to you, before you rise from your council. Indeed, I have full strength for the purpose, and may be trusted. Said one who had knowledge of the book, I will bring it to you within the twinkling of any eye. Then, when Solomon saw it placed firmly before him, he said, This is by the grace of my Lord, to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. And, if any is grateful, truly his gratitude is a gain for his own soul. But if any is ungrateful, truly my Lord is free of all needs, supreme in honor. He said, Transform her throne out of all recognition by her. Let us see whether she is guided to the truth, or is one of those who receive no guidance. So when she arrived, she was asked, Is this your throne? She said, It was just like this, and knowledge was bestowed on us in advance of this, and we have submitted to Allah in Islam. And he diverted her from the worship of others besides Allah for she was sprung of a people that had no faith. She was asked to enter the lofty palace, but when she saw it, she thought it was a lake of water, and she tucked up her skirts, uncovering her legs. He said, This is but a palace paved smooth with slabs of glass. She said, O oh my Lord, I have indeed wronged my soul. I do now submit in Islam, with Solomon to the Lord of the world. We sent aforetime to the Thamud, their brother Sali, saying, Serve Allah. But behold, they became two factions quarreling with each other. He said, O my people, why ask you to hasten on the evil in preference to the good? If only you ask Allah for forgiveness, you may hope to receive mercy. They said, Ill omen do we augur from you, and those that are with you. He said, Your ill omen is with Allah. Yea, you are a people under trial. There were in the city nine men of a family who made mischief in the land, and would not reform. They said, Swear a mutual oath by Allah that we shall make a secret night attack on him and his people, and that we shall then say to his heir, when he seeks vengeance, We were not present at the slaughter of his people, and we are positively telling the truth. They plotted and planned, but we too planned, even while they perceived it not. Then see what was the end of their plot, this, that we destroyed them and their people, all of them. Now such were their houses, in utter ruin, because they practiced wrongdoing. Verily, and this is a sign for people of knowledge. And we saved those who believed and practiced righteousness. We also sent loot as a messenger. Behold, he said to his people, do you do what is shameful, though you see its iniquity? Would you really approach men in your lusts, rather than women? Nay, you are a people grossly ignorant. But his people gave no other answer but this. They said, Drive out the followers of Lut from your city. These are indeed men who want to be clean and pure. But we saved him and his family, except his wife. Her we destined to be of those who lagged behind. And we rained down on them a shower of brimstone, and evil was the shower on those who were admonished, but he did not. Say praise be to Allah and peace on his servants whom he has chosen for his message. 
Who is better, Allah or the false gods they associate with him? Or who has created the heavens and the earth? And who sends you down rain from the sky? Yea, with it we cause to grow well-planted orchards, full of beauty and delight. It is not in your power to cause the growth of the trees in them. Can there be another God besides Allah? Nay, they are a people who swerve from justice. Or who has made the earth firm to live in, made rivers in its midst, set thereon mountains immovable, and made a separating bar between the two bodies of flowing water? Can there be another God besides Allah? Nay, most of them know not. Or who listens to the soul distressed when it calls on him? And who relieves its suffering and makes you mankind inheritors of the earth? Can there be another God besides Allah? Little it is that you heed. Or who guides you through the depths of darkness on land and sea? And who sends the winds as heralds of glad tidings, going before his mercy? Can there be another God besides Allah? High is Allah above what they associate with him. Or who originates creation, then repeats it, and who gives you sustenance from heaven and earth? Can there be another God besides Allah? Say, bring forth your argument if you are telling the truth. Say, none in the heavens or on earth except Allah knows what is hidden, nor can they perceive when they shall be raised up for judgment. Still less can their knowledge comprehend thereafter. Nay, they are in doubt and uncertainty thereat. Nay, they are blind thereunto. The unbelievers say, What, when we become dust, we and our fathers, shall we really be raised from the dead? It is true we were promised this, we and our fathers before us. These are nothing but tales of the ancients. Say, Go you through the earth and see what has been the end of those guilty of sin. But grieve not over them, nor distress yourself because of their plots. They also say, When will this promise come to pass? Say, If you are truthful. Say, It may be that some of the events which you wish to hasten on may be close in your pursuit. Verily, your Lord is full of grace to mankind, yet most of them are ungrateful. And verily, your Lord knows all that their hearts do hide, as well as all that they reveal. Nor is there aught of the unseen in heaven or earth, but is recorded in a clear record. Verily, this Qur'an does explain to the children of Israel most of the matters in which they disagree. And it certainly is a guide and a mercy to those who believe. Verily, your Lord will decide between them by his decree, and he is exalted in might, all-knowing. So put your trust in Allah for you are on the path of manifest truth. Truly, you cannot cause the dead to listen, nor can you cause the deaf to hear the call, especially when they turn back in retreat. Nor can you be a guide to the blind, to prevent them from straying. Only those will you get to listen, who believe in our signs, and they will bow in Islam. And when the word is fulfilled against them, the unjust... We shall produce from the earth a beast to face them. He will speak to them for that mankind did not believe with assurance in our signs. One day we shall gather together from every people a troop of those who reject our signs, and they shall be kept in ranks. Until when they come before the judgment seat, Allah will say, Did you reject my signs, though you comprehended them not, in knowledge, or what was it you did? And the word will be fulfilled against them because of their wrongdoing, and they will be unable to speak in plea. See they not that we have made the night for them to rest in, and the day to give them light. Verily in this are signs for any people that believe. And the day that the trumpet will be sounded, then will be smitten with terror those who are in the heavens, and those who are on earth, except such as Allah will please to exempt, and all shall come to his presence as beings, conscious of their lowliness. You see the mountains and think them firmly fixed, but they shall pass away as the clouds pass away. Such is the artistry of Allah, who disposes of all things in perfect order, for he is well acquainted with all that you do.
If any do good, good will accrue to them therefrom, and they will be secure from terror that day. And if any do evil, their faces will be thrown headlong into the fire. Do you receive a reward other than that which you have earned by your deeds? For me, I have been commanded to serve the Lord of this city, him who has sanctified it, and to whom belong all things. And I am commanded to be of those who bow in Islam to Allah's will, and to rehearse the Qur'an, and if any accept guidance, they do it for the good of their own souls. And if any stray, say, I am only a warner. And say, Praise be to Allah, who will soon show you his signs, so that you shall know them, and your Lord is not unmindful of all that you do.